I am Luisa Winters, and I am an, a certified instructor for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop Illustrator, InDesign, Acrobat, Dreamweaver, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two. Now, I already have a little sequence in here, and if I just play it, this is just a little promo thing for a drone company. I'm going to switch to my Captions and Graphics workspace, and I'm going to look at my Motion Graphics templates here. These are the ones that come included with my default installation of Premiere Pro. Do you see this tab here for Adobe Stock? You can click there, and now all of those motion graphics templates will be available for you to use. You can edit everything in here. You don't like the color, you can change that. There you go. Anyway, you can customize this however you want. Having said that, if you want to create your own original effects, text, graphics animation, title animation, you need to take this to the next step, which is After Effects. You can go from Premiere to After Effects back to Premiere seamlessly. You can now right-click that clip, and you can say, hey, replace with After Effects composition. In After Effects, you will be able to add anything at all from 3D graphics to text animation, logo animation, color correction, you name it, you will be able to change all of these things in After Effects. I'm going to grab my type tool. I'm just going to click somewhere here, and I'm going to type Chesapeake Bay Lighthouse. If I double click the layer, all of the characters get selected, and the character panel opens up. You don't really need to know After Effects to do this. This is very simple. If I want to animate this, and I do, I'm going to expand the layer here in the timeline. And to the right of text, I'm going to go to Animate. Animate, and I'll do Position. Easy. I am going to animate the Range Selector. We are going to keyframe start. All I have to do now is add a little bit of motion blur and mask it. And when I play it, I get my animation. I am going to go back to Premiere Pro. My clip is already there. Super easy, not a problem. Now. Let's export this. This is 16.9, but maybe I want 9.16. I'm going to different social media platforms, right? Maybe I want Square. All I have to do is right click here and choose Auto Reframe Sequence. So here we go. Oh, which one do you want? Oh, do you want a uh, Square one? Oh, sure, I want Square. Motion traffic? Sure, give me motion tra uh, tracking. What if I'm following somebody with a camera or whatever, and then when I trim it to make it square, I cut it. I want it to be keyframed. So this is going to take care of that. Create. If I want to do another one, I can go to Auto Reframe. And this time, I'm going to choose 916. If I want to export this, I can select them and go to Export Media. I can just tell it, this one, go to YouTube. This one, change the setting for Vimeo. You can sign in to YouTube, and it will upload the file directly for you. This is especially important when you need to upload something today, and it's already 10 o'clock at night, and you got to go to bed, and it's going to take two hours to render. Have it render, upload it automatically, and by next morning, everything is good with the world. Right? So it's the same with Vimeo. Sign in, Twitter, Facebook. 
all of those, the hands, Creative Cloud, and you can even upload it to an FTP server. All right, thanks for coming, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.